all to yourself and look at this. Look at this on this cool and uh, foggy morning. All kinds of demo has happened since last week. I, I can't even guess which is which. I'll put up a photo of last week's stuff. But you can see that, I mean, significantly more things have been, have been demoed. Oh my, hello birds. And I don't even know if you can see this because it's so foggy right now. Uh, but there is just dirt everywhere. There are mounds of dirt, all kinds of, you know, tractors and backhoes and excavators. Ah, we learned what an excavator was last week too. Uh, but there's just a lot of stuff happening here. Like I said, I, I can't even guess uh, which buildings have been demoed, but it looks like, I mean, they're well on their way and uh, more stuff is coming down. I'm sure everything, everything that you can see in this frame pretty much from, from the trees to Toontown and even over here to the left, let's see if I can pan over here, behind those uh, palm trees, that's all gonna go. Uh, we're gonna see all that demoed in the next couple of months. My understanding is that the demo process is gonna go on now for until about, what, maybe, maybe April? And then we'll start, seeing, we'll start seeing actual construction. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it necessarily, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the construction happening because I, I pretty much think that there's no chance that uh, they're gonna let all this uh, construction be exposed for everyone to look at. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but today we're gonna look at this. Now, the news that I wanna talk about is, you know, they uh, on Sunday last week, <coughs> there was the, uh, I don't wanna call it a reveal or whatever, but they, did, they, they showed some concept art. We got a video of all the concept art that they talked about for the new Star Wars land that Harrison Ford introduced at the Disneyland's uh, 60th anniversary special that aired on Sunday. And there was talk about what kind of, we know that at least one of those attractions is gonna be a simulator, uh, probably the Millennium Falcon, but there's the other one, the other one in that big building, which is probably gonna be somewhere where, uh, you know, somewhere near the back here, actually. I think this area that we're digging up right here is gonna be where the, the new big major attraction is gonna be. And uh, <clears throat> there's debate about whether or not it's gonna be in a simulator because the, the, the screenshots that, the, that we saw, the, 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 the concept art that we saw uh, on the 60th didn't look like a roller coaster to me. <laughs> no, it did not. It looked like a simulator to me, but um, there's talk. And what people are saying is that there's not enough room for a roller coaster. That is a, whoever is putting that out there is crazy talk. That is crazy. This is the biggest land in the park. And that building is the biggest building of any, uh, of any, uh, what do you call it, attraction in the park. It's bigger than Big Thunder, Space Mountain, Pirates, you name it. <clears throat> I don't know about Pirates, actually. Pirates has two show buildings, but that's a huge, huge dark ride. But I digress. There is plenty of room for a roller coaster in there. There's room for two roller coasters in there, you guys. So <laughs> you could fit Big Thunder and Space Mountain in the space we're looking at alone right here. So chill on that. Plenty of room for a roller coaster. The idea though is that they, I think they want it indoors because <clears throat> it's a space battle and you can't have a space battle during the day. Or, at, or I mean in, in the light, because space doesn't happen in light, right? So <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but and, and by the way, is this boring? Me just yapping while you stare at the empty lot? I don't know, we'll see. But uh, <clears throat> you can't put, uh, you can't put, uh, yeah, you can't put a roller coaster that happens in space in the middle of the daylight. It has to be, it has to be indoors, so I get it. I get it that it has to be some kind of dark ride type thing. But at least give me some movement, is all I'm saying. Give me some movement and some action and some practical effects. Don't just make me look at a screen, please, or I'm going to freak the F out, okay? Before I continue on this uh, little tirade, I wanna, I wanna show you guys, look at the tree line on the berm. Am I crazy or did they take out a bunch of trees? Guys, let me, I'm gonna put up a photo again and let's, t let's take a look at this compare, but I'm seeing, because remember before, where that, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, if it's matching up, but where that green fence says there was a hole, they put, they kind of, it was a path to get into that area. You're at, that's the backside of the Rivers of America, just past the Hungry Bear. Not a lot going on there, but there were more trees there, were there not? I know it's foggy and I, I can't see everything. I might have to come back up here later today to see. But I'm telling you, I think that they cut some of those trees down. Uh, all right, so fresh bake. Here's my thing. Uh, 
again, lots of debate. What's what's going to happen in that big building? I forget what they called it. It was some sort of uh, fight with the First Order type attraction. It's going to be a Force Awakens uh, based attraction. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so what's it going to be? It's not going to be a true roller coaster uh, unless it's, I mean, really, what are you going to do? The only thing that you can do to make it a true roller coaster and keep it indoors is to do Space Mountain again. But they've already done Space Mountain. And what, you know what? Wouldn't we be upset, Fresh Baked? Wouldn't we be upset if they, if, if they just built Space Mountain again? I mean, not exactly the same ride, but really no different than Space Mountain. We'd be like, you know what? You guys, you did all that, and you <laughs> you have all this technology. It's it's 2016, and the best you could do is Space Mountain Part 2? No, of course not. So they're not going to do that. So they're gonna, they got to up the game a little bit, right? All right, so if we got to push the envelope, what's next? What's after Space Mountain? Well, there's the Transformers ride, uh, the Mummy ride. Um, there's another deal, oh, Hogwarts, uh, the, the Hogwarts, what, oh, I forget what they call it, um, Escape from Green Gods, I don't know. <laughs> but there's an attraction at, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, Harry Potter Universal in Florida that's uh, a mix of movement and, uh, oh, hi, monorail. You know, it's a simulator basically that also moves quite a bit. There's that. Uh, there's also, uh, well, I don't know, but those are next, okay. Yeah, that's an improvement, right? Still, it's mostly simulator though, and again, they cannot just duplicate what's already been done. They can't. So I have to think, you guys, that there is something in store for us inside that building, that huge building that is bigger than anything we've seen before, right? It's bigger than you need for uh, <clears throat> any trackless technology. Trackless technology like the Ratatouille ride does not require a lot of real estate, okay? <clears throat> I mean, we may get trackless, but that's the, but the reason why the building is so big is not because it's trackless, if that makes any sense. So what would require a building that big? You know what requires a building that big, actually, are, are dark rides. Rides like Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean, those attractions uh, require a lot of space. Now, you know what requires more space than that? Is a ride like that with roller coaster elements, with you know, big dr or drops or, or movements or something like that. So I have a feeling, you guys, that Disney knows they can't, they can't do this one halfway, that they can't just repeat a simulator, repeat a Harry Potter type experience. They have to do better than Harry Potter. The whole idea with Star Wars Land is to beat Harry Potter. Not to meet it, but to beat it. So look, look for something really, really impressive in that building. We've arrived at Big Thunder Trail. Uh, it's wonderful because you get to see Big Thunder railroads go by, but it's no longer wonderful for us because they've boarded it up. The rest, you can't see anything back there. No, nope, but the water is on. A couple weeks ago, the water was off. That's true. The, the water was off last time, huh? Yeah. But you can't, you can't really see. I like, I, oh, I can see the porta potty. <laughs> that means they're not done yet. Nope. Still got to work. But that's it. That's all I can see. I can't see anything else back there. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this as still as I can. This camera is not conducive to zooming in, guys. I'm sorry. So we found a little crack in the, in the wall here. We're gonna try to, I don't know what we're supposed to see. It's, you can't see anything. They're, they're working on it, guys. They're working on it, that's all I can say. Matter of, I don't know, I can't. Let's try to pan to the right a little bit. The rocks are still there. That, where those rocks are on the ground, that's where they had the, uh, that's where you can meet Woody. Uh, so that's the entrance to Big Thunder Ranch. So we're figuring those rocks are going to stay. They'll be part of the scenery. And just chew on that for the next year and a half. Because this is probably the last view we're going to get of this place. There's the, uh, these are the sandbags that Ian was talking about. I have, okay, so what are they going to do with those sandbags, Ian? What's that for? The only thing I can think of is if it's to walk up the river so you can bring it back, which we said. You think half the river. Yeah. What else would it for? Why else would I, I don't know what else that could Well, be if for. that's, I mean, that's clearly, not gonna block it's anything. Not done. It's clearly not done. <laughs> uh, what is the, what is the, the rope for? That's not sure, because you can't quite see, you have to hear, you come around and see better. There's big old like blocks of cement that I think are acting as like anchors to help hold it back too. Okay. That's so that, is that gonna like raise something maybe, or? I think it's just help it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to drain the river, you guys. Um, whether or not it's the whole river. I, I just can't get my head around it. Why would they do that if they're not draining the whole river? Or if they are gonna drain the whole river? 
All right, this is the that's the uh, block of cement that Ian was talking about. That's, that's just a single thing, though. What's yeah, that? But it's attached to the rope, which goes back to the bags. Oh yeah, there is a rope attached. You which can I'm see that. I'm assuming that's what there's one over along the other rope. So too. there's probably yeah, there's probably oh yeah, there is a block. Yeah. You can see that there's a there's a block down yeah, there it too. Yeah, might not be coming through. So I couldn't leave guys without getting one more good look at what's going on back here at Star Wars Land and definitely, yeah, as uh, we saw when we were on Big Thunder, trees are down. It, actually, quite a lot is happening. It looks like they have built a new berm already. Uh, I don't remember it being that high before, but again, we'll check on some previous photos or images from there, but it looks like they've already moved dirt to make a new berm and, and cut down a whole mess of trees back there. So, I mean, it is definitely on, it is on. Like that, we call them. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Star Wars Land updates from the Knothole Gang, or maybe our Secrets and History videos. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign or by buying a Fresh Bake t-shirt. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake!